Kevin, save your strength, man. It's going to be a couple hours. So it's Tuesday and the Tacoma has broken off from the rest of the group to go see Bowman Odyssey, which is one of our close friends. And while we were here, the boys went adventuring and decided to try their hand at a water crossing. Um, at the water crossing, we had a little bit of an issue. On the truck six hours in a river. Um, a lot goes through your head. Uh, life changing. bad.
So after um, I got to the shore um, and found Kevin in the middle of the river, I, uh, I kind of got my culvert cool in the beginning and um, we kind of went through the whole scenario of trying to figure out how to get the winch cable out to the truck to try to winch it back to um, the shore um, when the winch cable on the Tacoma broke. We spent a little time taking inventory of what we had in the vehicle. Uh, the water was very cold that day, probably around 50 degrees. Um, we were worried about hypothermia. We were also watching some storm clouds roll in um, and were worried about uh, the water levels rising and having to sit out in a thunderstorm in the middle of a river. So we're in the middle of the river. Yep, hanging out. We're okay. Brendan risked his life for me. <laughs> um, definitely one of the stupidest things I've ever done. Me too. Um, we'll make it out one way or the other. The truck is totally dead. See you guys. Once we decided we needed to get a tow truck, I had to send a satellite message to my dad, who is in Knoxville. First thing I said is, Dad, we're okay. There, no one's been hurt, but I need you to follow my instructions. You need to call a tow truck in Moab and give them these coordinates, and we need help. The tow truck has arrived, and we're hoping for a quick and safe rescue. We later found out, thanks to the USGS, the river was flowing at a hair over 175 CFS, thanks to the previous winter snowpack, and was a chilly 50 degrees. If you hook that on the down river side, you're going to have less friction from the water. It's going to be safer for you to hook that. If you try to hook it on the front, you're going to be battling the current. Does that make sense? Yeah. So try to hook that to something stable like your axle or some hooks. Now what? Are you hooked? I'll start pulling it. Please go slow. Oh, trust me, it'll be slow. <laughs> Everybody wave, there's gonna be a picture. Hey. Hold on to somebody, you idiots. They have it hooked. I did a bad thing. I I am Boulder Overlander. <laughs> it was overnight, yeah. I swallowed the truck. But the tent's still dry. So the tent was on higher tent. It will not unlock. Oh, 
Um, so, let's see here. The tow truck driver pulled us up to camp, which was maybe a mile up the trail. By the time we got to camp, it was dark. We essentially pulled the rooftop tent out, uh, which was still dry, mind you, and went to bed. The next morning, we woke up, started taking an inventory and uh, spreading the truck out, drying the truck out, um, and assessing what had happened. Ultimately, we lost almost everything in the vehicle. Once the team received the SOS from Kevin, they came up with a game plan to find him hidden along the Cocopelli. Not knowing the full details, only knowing that Kevin was in trouble and we needed to help, we rolled out. Let's see, we packed the truck up. Uh, we later found out that because the Tacoma has an electronic transfer case. The vehicle was stuck in four-wheel drive and we couldn't get it up on the trailer because of that. When the crew got there, Tommy and I disassembled the rear of the transfer case to manually engage it in the two-wheel drive and uh, in doing that we were able to load it up on the U-Haul trailer and tow it to Grand Junction, um, Colorado where we then cleaned out the entire truck and prepped it for a pullback to Knoxville, Tennessee. The truck wasn't going to be driving home. The Bowman Odyssey crew graciously volunteered to tow the bold Tacoma the 1,600 miles home to East Tennessee. Next time on Bold Overland. It's late, we're tired. It's been a long day, uh, vehicle recovery on Kevin's truck. It's strong work today, everyone. All right. <laughs>